Hey everyone, this is BuilderDude35, and this week's video is going to cover how to import .ev3s files into an ev3 project. Now to start, for those of you who are unaware, a .ev3s file is an individual ev3 program, and you can't open it on its own. It has to be imported into an ev3 project so you can run it on a robot, and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today and it's important to know this because maybe you don't want to give the whole project you want to instead save just a program and you can do this now uh, that you know how to import them like for example on my website a lot of my downloads are not complete projects they're just individual programs to save space and I get a lot of people asking why can't I open this well uh, that's because you need to import it into a project and of course this video is going to teach you how to do that and I'm specifically talking about EV3 programs, but this pretty much works with most files that you're importing into the EV3 software. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, I have the EV3 programming software open to a fresh clean slate, and I'm going to show you how to import individual program files into this project that we have open. Of course we have the default program, but I'm going to show you how you can open, say, a line follower program into this project. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this cool person's website this is my website at builderdude35.com and then this is the downloads page we're going to scroll down to Sirius and this is just an example I'm showing you you can do this with any EV3S file out there so I'm going to download my line following program just like that and it's going to bring me to this page I'm going to click download again to confirm the download and it's going to do its thing after it's finished downloading I'm going to open it up in whatever folder it's in. In my case, it's the downloads folder. I'm going to move it to somewhere where I'll remember. In my case, I'll save it to my desktop here. So I just cut and paste that to my desktop. And now that I know where I've saved it, I'm going to go back into the EV3 programming software. We're going to go to the top left corner, this wrench icon here. It says Project Properties on it. Click on that. We're already on the programs tab here, so that's where you can import and export programs. So we're going to go to import because we want to add this. And now remembering where we saved it, in my case, I've saved it on my desktop. And it should come up. Here it is. Click on that. And there we go. It imports it right into the project. Clicking it again right here is then going to open it up. And voila, here we are. I've successfully imported my line following program off of my website into my project. And now when I download this project onto a robot, I can run this line following program on the robot. And of course you can also download and import other types of files, not just EV3S files, programs. You can also do the same thing with images, sounds, my blocks, all of these things and it's the same exact process where you just download it off the website save it somewhere where you'll remember it and then import it into the software by the same means it's very simple thanks for watching my tutorial this week if you found it helpful be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week and if you have an idea for a tutorial be sure to submit it in the comments section below thank you and I'll see you next time bye